Oh my, it just gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> Hello my friends, Jetron is here. Today we have a new handbag. Are we surprised? Not really. This here is a micro bag and I've never actually owned one. Um, I have owned nanos, but never micro. So let's talk about it. If you haven't followed me, you know that I am obsessed with small little miniature things, especially bags. And when I saw this particular one two months ago, I just knew I had to buy it and see what actually fits in here because a micro bag is hella small. <laughs> also, my curiosity got the best of me, so let's see what fits. Introducing this here is the Givenchy Antigona micro bag in box leather and oh, isn't she so freaking cute? I'm dying. It's so tiny, I can't. Currently, this bag does retail for $765 USD. Plus tax, you're looking to pay around $810. Now, if you know me, you know I do not pay full price for anything or I try not to. So I'm gonna show you guys how I save $200 on this bag later on in the video. This bag does come in four different colors, the black, the white, the pink, and also the mint green. I'm pretty sure they will come out with more colors later on in the future. If you're not familiar with the Antigona line from Givenchy, pretty much this bag here is the shrunken down version of the classic Antigona. I'm pretty sure you probably have seen many celebrities and a lot of people carry it in the early 2010s. Unfortunately, the popularity did decline mid 2010s and it's very sad because I actually really like the shape and silhouette. It kind of reminds me of like a doctor's handbag. But as of now, no one really carries it no more. So it's a little sad. It's a little sad. The Antigona does come in many different colors and sizes, especially sizes. They do have the size medium, which is the largest one, size small, mini, and the nano. Now the nano, I don't really consider it to be the classic Antigona because it doesn't have the top two handles as you can see in the picture. And now we have have a new size which is the micro so five sizes to pick from fun fact though i almost bought a antigona in size medium in the color black back in 2015. I'm so glad I never did it because at that time, the popularity was going down. So I literally saved myself close to $2,000 on a handbag that I knew would not do so well on the resale market. Anyways, before I do show you guys what fits inside this little cute gem, let's get to know this bag just a little bit. So Givenchy described this to be a trapezoid shape that has a pentagonal patch with the D-Boss Silver Givenchy signature logo. It is made from the shiny calfskin leather with the silver hardware. There are two top handles that sadly does not fold down and it comes with a detachable strap, which unfortunately the strap is not adjustable, but more rant on that later. Unlike the classic Antigona bags, it doesn't come with the chunky zipper, but instead it has a magnetic closure, which is very strong. Oh yeah, and here's a hack. If you do decide to buy this, the best way to open the bag is to pinch both of the sides together. It's just way easier than trying to hold the top two handles and then holding one side open while you reaching in to get something. Trust me, I have big hands, so this is the best way to get in and out of your bag really fast. Taking a look inside, it does have a little leather tag that says Givenchy made in Italy and the inside lining is made from polyester and polyethanol. It does measure at six inches in width, six inches in height, and 2.75 inches in depth. Because I've never owned anything from Givenchy before, I am going to feel and touch the bag and I have to say the bag feels really nice and sturdy, very substantial to the touch. I mean it's a luxury good so I don't expect anything less than what you pay for. There is a slight smell to the leather but nothing too heavily so that's that. Before we do move on, if you are enjoying this video, give this video a thumbs up because it will help with the algorithm. And also, if you are new here, subscribe to my channel, join the family. I would love to have you in the near future. All right, so I'm pretty sure you're dying to know what fits in here. So I'm going to show you what can fit in here and then what I prefer to actually put in here if I do want to carry it on an everyday basis. I do have the four and six key ring holder from Louis Vuitton. And as you can see, it does fit both inside nicely. I also have the Louis Vuitton clay and the YSL card holder. I didn't think this would fit, but I did put in the Chanel card holder and surprisingly, 
it fit really nicely. I did go ahead and put in a makeup compact, a blotting sheet, lipstick, chapstick, and of course some AirPods, and also a set of keys. Now I do think if you do want to maximize the real estate of the bag, using a set of keys is the best way so you're not taking up so much space in it. Now to be realistic, if I was to use this bag on an everyday basis, this is what I would carry. I would definitely carry my Louis Vuitton clay and the four key ring holder, some blotting sheets, some lip balms, and of course some AirPods. Now I know where you're thinking, why don't I just, you know, put my cards, cash, in there without my card holder and also a set of keys instead of the four key ring holder and i could do that but for me i don't want the bag to get scratched with the keys and i find it easier just to pull out your cars and cash in one setting instead of like trying to like dig in one by one i i don't know i prefer it that way so here are some size comparison i did compare it to the coach nolita the louis vuitton mini pochette the Louis Vuitton Speedy Nano, the Louis Vuitton Petit Sac Plaque, and of course, my all-time favorite, the Louis Vuitton Keep All Excess. And as you can see, the Antigona is probably the smallest out of all five things, or it's probably very close to the Mini Pouchette and the Coach Nolita. Now, with all good things, there are some cons, and I'm gonna point out two cons for you to look out for if you are interested in this item. So the first con being the strap. I can't stand that it is not adjustable. I mean, what year are we in? <laughs> Everyone is different in body shapes and sizes as you can see as a crossbody it is so high up i cannot there is so much gap between where it lands and my waistline and i just feel like it's a little too short it definitely makes the bag look like a little kid's bag i can definitely swing it on my shoulder but personally that's not my vibe so of course i would have to go on amazon buy a different strap so i kind of wish they would have made the strap a little bit longer or adjustable and while we're on this topic um the top two handles even though you can carry it handheld, you cannot put your hands through it, so that's a con of itself. The second con of this bag is the price point. Now I did mention with taxes, you are paying $810. I am a little torn because I don't think it's too bad of a price considering this is a luxury item. They should have made this bag at like $400, $500. I feel like it's a little bit more reasonable, but $800, I don't know. I just, I think that's a little too expensive for what it is. Now, before I end this video, I am going to tell you guys how I saved $200 on this cute gem and I'm gonna show you my method. So this method here, I have talked about it in my YSL Clutch video. It's very simple similar a little different but if you haven't seen that video go check it out the first thing you got to do is not buy directly from the Givenchy website okay no no do not do it you have to buy it through a department store like Neiman and Marcus or Bloomingdale's now these two department stores what I love is that they do give you 15% off on your first purchase and if you already made an account with them girl just make a new one okay <laughs> just make a new one with a different email you will get a 15% off after after you sign up and you receive your discount code in your email, the next thing you want to do is buy directly through a cashback site like Rakuten or Top Cashback. Now these two cashback sites are really reliable. I've used it all the time. And after you make an account, you will search in the Rakuten or Top Cashback site, search up Neiman and Marcus or Bloomingdale's. Now here's the tricky part. You want to look for the percentage cashback. Make sure you do look out for the cash because if you don't buy it at 10%, you're not going to get the 25% off. Only Neiman and Marcus had a 10% cash back. Bloomingdale's only had 3%. So of course, I went with Neiman and Marcus. Don't freak out if you do see 3%, 2%, just wait a little bit. Because the holiday is coming up, I'm pretty sure the cash back is going to go up back to 10%. So with the 15% off discount code and the 10% cash back, that is a total of 25% off. So so that is how I got this bag down to $620, which is close to a saving of $200. So that's my hack to save some extra cash. Obviously, you don't have to buy this exact micro bag. You can buy anything you want on the website. So there you have it, guys. That is my review on the Givenchy Micro Antigona bag. And unfortunately, I'm sad to say this, but I am going to return her. 
I know. She's just way too small. I think she's just way too small. And for the price point, I just feel like it's not a good investment as of now. Two years ago, when micro bags were very popular, I think it would have done really well. But as of now, I am seeing a transition to small bags to more bigger bags. And I've mentioned this, bigger bags are definitely making a comeback. But hey, if you love Givenchy as a brand, you love the Antigona, hell yeah, buy this. I don't think the price is that bad considering if you do you know my method to save some money for me i just think it's a little too pricey for what it is <laughs> so she's definitely going back um but yeah let me know in the comments down below what are your thoughts on this micro bag do you love it do you hate it do you think it's cute you think it looks like a little toy let me know in the comments down below i would love to hear it but with that being said you do you boo and of course i will talk to you guys soon in the next bye mm -hmm.